that walks and all sorry about that uh, can you let me know that we're working can everyone let me know that you can hear me and you can hear the guitar and then we are good to go how is everyone let me turn all these pedals off and that one Does the mower air switch? The mower air switch? We are live. <laughs> Great, all working, yeah? Awesome. How is everyone? I uh, hope everyone is well. What I thought I'd do today is just to go over some of the questions that you might have on this thing, which is the uh, the Exonic Air Step Cat Edition. Um, I did a video a couple of days ago on this, but I realized that there's obviously gonna be some questions that people have, and hopefully I can answer the questions. I've asked the guys at um, Exonic a few questions, just to sort of preempt this. But what I thought I'd do to start with, should I just go through the, the setup of the air step and show you how it all works. Um, sort of similar to what I did in the last in the last video, but it might be a little bit, I might sort of not go over as much stuff, but just in case anyone hasn't seen the air step, I'll just show you what it, what it does. So let's switch over to, to that camera and you can see me there as well. Right. Um, so, right, we've got two modes on the air step. What we can do with the katana is to switch between all the different patches on the katana. Now, on the katana that I've got here, which is the uh, the Mark II 100 head, same with any sort of um, 100 watt version of the katana, you can do this because it has eight separate patches. So you can swap between all your different patches. <laughs> and then you can go into your second bank as well. Now, what we can do as well with the Katana, which we can't do with the GAFC foot controller, is to control all of the effects that are uh, on the front panel of the Katana. So all of you guys that don't want to connect this, that don't want to connect your Katana up to your computer, this sorts all that sort of situation out. So you could basically take this, um, your phone and the Katana to a gig, and you can do all your deep dive editing, which is really great, I think. So. Uh, here's my clean sound. So we've got no effects on that. Now if I switch on my reverb, which is this last button, uh, sorry, but by holding it down. Turn it on, um, on and off by a long press. I can do the same with the delay. So long press, turns the delay on and you'll see it's flashing as well. So what we can do with that is not only turn the delay on and off, but we can also set the tempo by tapping the tempo. So I can have my delay and reverb on at the same time, obviously. Let's slow that down a little bit. Right, the next three buttons are your booster, your effects, and your modulation. So if I want to turn on my booster, click there. Let's turn that, uh, let's turn the, the reverb off, it's a bit too much. Uh, I can turn off and on my effects section. Yeah. 
So as you can hear, I've got some sort of phaser on there at the moment. And my modulation section is on the third button. <laughs> Right, so not only can we do that, what we can do is to change the effects that are on the katana. If I get rid of myself here so you guys can see exactly the whole sort of front panel of the katana. Now, if you watch up here, uh, where is my, my booster section is here. So if I switch on my booster, you'll see the sort of green light comes on. I could turn it on and off. Right. Now, on the green setting, I've got a uh, blues driver pedal inside the katana if I hold down this button I can switch it so if you watch this button here it's green if I hold it again it goes to red on my red setting I've got uh, a overdrive and if I hold it again you'll see it goes uh, yellow and I've got distortion pedal on there so let's go back to uh, green switch it off right the same with the uh, the effects section so I can turn that on now you see that I've got a phaser on there if I hold down so, so you'll notice that the the mod uh, the, sorry the mod button here has come on which is the red you can see it's red if I hold it down again it switches to yellow now on that setting I've got a compressor if I hold it down again it goes to green I've got some chorus. Now exactly the same with the third button, but now we're going into our effects. So I've got tremolo on green. On, uh, on green. I've got an auto wah on red. And hold it down again. And I've got a octave on uh, yellow. So that's that side of, of the of the air step. So you can switch on and off and change all the effects straight from the air step cat edition. What we can also do, if I switch over to this camera, whoops. Now on here I've got, let me go back into my, back into my screen. So on here I've got uh, the Katana Air app loaded. Now this is something you download from, um, if, you've got an and if you've got an Android phone, you can download it from the Android app store, or if you've got an iPhone or an iPad like I've got here, uh, you can download it from the app store. So if I click on, if I click on that. Now it starts off with this, with this screen here. What we have to do is to connect this, not to the katana, but we're connecting it to the air step. So if I click on my Bluetooth MIDI devices, now you'll see the first or the only choice we've got there is air step cat. So I can click on that and it says connecting. And I'll just click OK. Right, so now we're into let me uh, let me see if you can see me as well. If I'm not spoiling too much, oh, that'll do. Actually, actually, I'll take myself off, and then you can really see the app. Let's do that. Okay, so now we can go in and control all of the parameters inside the katana. So I can change my amp. change my gain and my EQ my volume but we can also go to our effects now here is where we'll start to see uh, let me click on where are we effects uh, where is it is it is it that block it's this block here okay right now you can see what I'm choosing with all of my uh, different colors on my effects blocks so on my booster as I said on the green setting I've got a blues driver the red I've got an overdrive and the yellow I've got distortion. Right, let's cut back to this. So again, if you look up the top of the katana as I switch on the booster, we're on the green setting, which is the blues driver. Hold it down, go to the red setting, which is the overdrive. Hold it down again, and it goes to the yellow setting, which is the distortion. 
Now, I don't have to explain the rest. It's exactly the same with the mod uh, section and the effect section. But then we can go in and say that I want to switch on my, my booster. So I'm going to click on the first pedal to turn it on. Right, let's go back to that one. Good. Right, uh, and let me actually, you're not going to see this, but I'm just changing it back to the blues driver, which is the, the uh, green setting. And I click on my booster setting here. Right, now I can change all my parameters inside the booster. So if I want to just take the top off, wind up the drive a little bit, bring back the bottom and the effects level. We can change all those parameters. Uh, the same with the mod, the same with the delay and the effects and the reverb. Now, you, what you can't do, let me just go back to myself here. There we go. What you can't do with this is, actually, let me switch, let me go to that and switch myself on there. There we go. What you can't do with this is to change the reverb and the delay settings by using the Katana Air Step controller. So you set that before you go out uh, and then, but, but all the other things you can change, you can change your uh, your booster section, your effects, and your modulation. Right. So I think I think I've covered everything. Should we go through some questions? Ah, ridiculous wonk! Thank you very much for your generous super chat. That's really kind of you. Okay, let's do uh, ridiculous wonk first because he's done a super chat. He said, okay, I know it's off topic today. Okay, uh, I know it's off topic today, but what are your recommendations to EQ to make Mark 1 sound like the variation on a Mark 2, the clean channel? Oh, it's really difficult because the Mark 1 doesn't sound like the Mark 2 because of the variation button. If you want the Mark 1 to sound more like the Mark 2, you're gonna have to crank the gain up, uh, crank up the presence, and the mid as well, because um, the Mark II isn't as, sorry, the variation button isn't as uh, as mid scoop, so you're gonna need to turn that up. It's really hard, because it is a completely different model, and it's, um, I mean, that's that to me is what makes the, the Katana Mark II. Right, let's go back. I hope that helps, Ridiculous Wonk. Maybe we can do a video on that. Maybe, actually, I haven't got a Mark I anymore, but uh, I'll see if I can find someone with a Mark I, and maybe we can, Maybe we can try and do a video where we can try and make the Mark 1 sound like the Mark 2 with the variation button. Um, right, Cafe, Cafe Guitarist got some questions in early before we started. So thanks, Cafe Guitarist. He says, question one, is there a pedal board solution that converts USB audio without a Mac Q2? Will Boss update the GAFC so green, red, orange happens? Is there an iOS app for Katana Mark 2s without the air step? Okay, no. So first of all, I mean, this, this whole show is about the, the air step, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll fill in sort of using that. You cannot, you cannot control the different effects. You cannot change the different effects using the JFC. Boss, at some point, they might update that, I don't know. I don't think they can because of the way the JFC works. It works through a jack cable, um, while the air step works through USB, so it's got far more information that can be transmitted from the air step into the cat. That's why the air step is so impressive. Um, the iOS app that we're using um, to control the air step is um, the Katana Air app on iOS. Uh, he said, I love your accent down under as it makes us want to jump on a ship and head back to the old Bailey. <laughs> Seriously, heaps of respect with your videos. Thanks heaps. Oh, cheers, mate. That's really kind of you. Uh, Kathy Guitaras also says, the idea is to find a small something on a pedal board without the pain of going through a Katana driver on a computer and boosting the signal in a door by 12 dB or more. Okay, so I guess what you're looking for is a way of recording or getting the Katana into, ah, uh, okay. You're trying to get the Katana to go into a computer so you can record it. You see, the thing is, the thing is about the the Katana, it does, it does boost, or it is quite quiet when it, um, through the USB out. But if you're recording at 24-bit, 
you don't have to worry about this sort of stuff. Um, so you can boost up inside the DAW and you're not going to get any quality loss. Uh, so personally, I mean, you, you'll hear, I'm not boosting this katana. This katana is going, um, actually it is being mic'd up, but when I normally do my videos, when I'm USBing, USB input into the computer, so that's how you're hearing it. I don't normally boost it uh, by very much, if, if hardly anything. Uh, Bruce says, what's up from New York? What's up, Bruce? How you doing? Uh, K Michael P. How you doing? Uh, how you doing, Michael? Alec Bourne uh, says, evening all. Hello from Tuscany. Oh, I bet that's nice over there at the moment. Raphael Jesus says, does the mower air switch to do the same? The mower air. <laughs> I think there might be a typo there, mate. The mower air. Yeah, let me know what you mean by that. Uh, Raphael says, we are live. Good. Yep. Yep. Clear as day. Good. I'll get through these. Oh, Mua. You meant Mua Air. Okay. I have I haven't used the, the, uh, any of the Mua stuff, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I hear good things about it. And it's really reasonably priced as well. <laughs> Bruce says, I see you have a favourite new guitar. Yeah, do you know what? I've been playing this all week. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll, I'll have a change today. And I, and I picked up a different guitar. I couldn't even play it. Because I'm so used to, uh, I was so used to the neck thickness of this. Because it's a big old chunky neck. Uh, it's like an old um, uh, no caster neck, and it's um, it's really chunky. And I picked up my strap, which is like so thin in comparison, and I, I could hardly play it. Uh, Joe Marshall says, "Hey Paul, sorry, not a katana question, but would you not be better off with a Boss OD200 instead of an Angry Driver?" Ah, oh, it does. It does lots more and isn't that much more expensive. Yeah, the OD200, I think, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a digital pedal. So I could be wrong. So it's emulations of overdrive pedals. I don't think it's analog, although I could be wrong. Um, yeah, it, it depends what it, it depends what you're after. If you want lots of variation in your on your drives and, and you want lots of different drives and you know endless choices. I think the OD200 is brilliant. The only thing for me is is that I end up suffering from having too much choice. And when I get too much choice, I end up just going through stuff, just going, oh, is that better? Is that better? Like when I'm recording, if if I can move a, you know, a microphone by a millimeter, I'll do it to see if it sounds better. And it, at the end of the day, what you need to do is just to play guitar. So for me, the angry driver enables me to do that. Just switch it on, turn a couple of dials and it's done. That's the thing about digital pedals, um, is that you're constantly tweaking. While if you've got an analog pedal, you know, you've normally got three or four controls on the top, you play with that and you come up with the sound and that's the sound and that's what you have to live with. Um, Aristotle Stuka says, confirm my thought that it will work with the Katana Mark I too. I don't see any reason why it would not. Yes, so going back to the air step now, the air step will work with the Katana Mark I 50, the Mark I 100, the Mark, it, it, it works with all the Katanas. So yeah, you don't have to worry, it works with Mark 1s and Mark 2s and you'll have no problem at all. I'm using Mark 2 here, but you know, you, don't, you won't get any problems. Um, do you use Boss software or librarian? So uh, Corbin Dallas says that. Corbin, um, yeah, I'm using the Boss Air Step, sorry, the Boss Katana Air software. And that is connected to the Exonic Air Step. Let me cut. How do I cut? There, no, wrong one. That one. There we go. That's connected via uh, Bluetooth straight to the Katana Air Step. Uh, the Air Step Cat, sorry. The Air Step Cat has a, if I show you, has a USB out, and that USB cable is plugged straight into the back of the Katana and that's how it's controlling. Now, there is some information that I found out from um, Exonic about the, the bigger air step that I'll go through in a minute. I'll answer some questions and then I'm gonna go through um, some of the info that I think everyone needs to know. Uh, K Michael P so says, so am I to, un am I to understand you no, lo you no longer need to use a computer to tap into Tone Studio, just an iPad or phone, exactly. Exactly, Michael. Because I know, I know from your previous comments that 
you're not a fan of or you, or you haven't tried connecting it to a computer because you think it's a bit of a faff. Completely agree, it is a faff. Yes, so now what we can do is to edit the katana completely from the air step cat, not that thing, uh, the air step cat, and um, yeah, we can edit, we can edit the parameters inside there. Ryan Pro says, so can you still save and store patches with the Tone Studio using the air step? Okay, let me show you what to do. Let me cut back to that. Okay, so uh, let me turn the booster off. Just turn that booster off. There we go. Okay. So say that I want to say that I want to save a patch. I've created, you know, I've stored, I've programmed the patch using the software like we have. So I can turn on the. Uh, let me switch over to. The tremolo. Okay, so say that that is my patch, and I want to store it to any one of the the eight programmable patches on this particular katana. All I've got to do is just to hold down this button at the end, which is the. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, I'm on channel one patch. Just hold that down. Now that's stored to the katana. So if I want to go up and down a patch. That patch is now stored. Okay. Now can you store it from the iPad app? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look and see if we can do that. Because I haven't tried that. Okay. So what we've got here, we've got... Let's go into the chorus and let's make it. Let's, let's make it nuts. Let's go. Let's turn all this up. Go into the effects. Uh, let's let's change the tremolo to rotary. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? Actually, let's go back to the delay and let's turn off. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right now, say that I want to. Let's see if we can store this horrible patch that I've just created to the katana. So if I push right, is it, is it gonna work? Now let's choose, let's use channel A red. See if it works. So go patch one, and then patch two. So yes, you can you can store it either from the front panel of the katana or from the app, which is great, isn't it? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, Ridiculous Wonk says that would be great. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, anytime, mate. Uh, Daniel King, is the cable to connect the air step to the katana the same as the one you need to connect the katana to a computer? Um, so it depends depends what computer you've got so the air step is a USB-C to uh, to uh, the katana which is a USB let's unplug it let's just unplug it okay where is it down there okay here we go so that's the end you plug into the air step which is a USB-C and that's the end you plug into, there it is, it's focusing, into the katana. So, um, it depends what computer you've got, but if your computer takes USB-C, then yes. The thing is, this actually comes, they provide all these cables inside the box. Uh, Exonic provide all the cables you need that comes inside the box, so you get the, you get the charging cable, because it's, as you can see, it's completely wireless now, but it's still on. Um, it's got a rechargeable battery inside it. Um, you get the USB lead and you get an adapter as well to change from, I can't remember, is it to change from C to normal USB-A, whatever it is. But yes, all the cables come in the box. You don't need to worry about that. Um, Ryan Pro says, and thanks uh, immensely for all your 
for all your these questions and answers. They're always incredibly helpful. Brilliant. I'm glad they help. I quite enjoy doing it on a Friday. It helps me sort of wind down for the weekend. So, um, Cafe Guitarist, just want to put the Mac out of a job so that it's bypassed. So ha what do you want to do with the Mac, uh, Cafe Guitarist? Let me just double check. Let me read. The idea is to find a small something of a pedal board. Something on a pedal board without the pain of going through the Katana driver. But you still need to record... You still need to record the the katana to to your Mac. So yeah, just explain what you mean. I'm a little bit confused by um, by why you want to put the Mac out of a job because you're still going to need to record the katana, or maybe you don't want to record the katana. But just explain a little bit more, and I'll try and answer those questions. <laughs> Alan Rice says hi from exotic Wolverhampton. That is exotic. Nice. We've had some amazing weather actually. It's um, down south it's been like it's been like a summer's day today it's been amazing uh alan rice also says after watching your demo i went out and bought the angry driver love it that's oh, great isn't it what a great pedal let me just get it one of these awesome pedal it's uh yeah just in case you haven't seen the demo this is a, a jhs angry charlie which is like a distortion overdrive distortion and a boss blues driver only one pedal and it's brilliant. Really versatile pedal. Um, uh, Dilly Black says, Hi Paul, is there a through socket on the air step so that I can go into the Mac uh, in effect using the air step and the air step? No. No, I think I know what you mean. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a way of connecting like a hub I wonder if there's a way you can connect a hub in between the air step and the katana and then take a, a separate out to to your Mac. I, I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not, but I might try that next week. Um K Michael P sold. Awesome. Yeah, you won't regret it, mate. It's good. You no longer have a ticket to Florida. <laughs> That's a shame. Well the weather's better in now, so I don't need it. Um, Joe Marshall, ah, oh, I thought the Angry Driver was digital. No, no, the Angry Driver is all analogue. Um, Dilly Black, sorry, Air Step and Katana, sorry, senior moment, no problem, Dilly. No, um, yeah, I'll, tr I'll try it out with, with the USB hub, maybe it'll work, maybe we can get both working at the same time. Jason Wade says, uh, don't have a Katana nor an Air Step, but I enjoy and support the Studio Rats when I can here for Paul. Ah, oh, cheers, Jason, that's really kind of you, mate. Cafe guitarist, no, just a monitor. The stereo out sounds so good. Yeah, the stereo outs, the Katana USB out is great. It's a really good thing. Uh, Farid H says, is there a benefit to having the Katana for practice if you have a, if you have Wazza Air headphones? Is there a benefit to having Katana? Well, the only thing, if you've got the Wazza Air and you're just using it for practice, no, just use the Wazza Air. Great. Uh, the Wazza Air headphones sorry which which sound brilliant the only the, you know the difference is with the with the katana is that you can use it at a gig and it is loud enough to to gig um and you know the katana's at a price where i've, I've said this before you know if i had to take around i mean um, you know i don't mind doing this but if i had to, you know take around one of my matchless amps which are really expensive you know, I'm going to be upset if it gets uh, if it gets damaged or you know beer gets spilt on it at a gig. Well, the katana, yes, I'll be upset, but not as upset because they're much cheaper. Um, USB B to USB C. There you go. Cheers, Bruce. Bruce is always the oracle for information. Um, Corbin Dallas says, "Is the air step cap?" worth it from mark 250 watt yes absolutely because you can again you can you can do all the things that i'm doing that i've done on this um mark mark 2 100 watt you can do all the same things that i'm doing with the uh with the 50 watt as well <clears throat> ah bruce says you can't split usb one device needs to be the usb host well they are thanks bruce as i said always the oracle uh dilly black says thanks let us know cheers paul K Michael P says boss is really the boss has really out of a lot of sales for now. 
forward thinking boss. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, the GAFC is a brilliant unit. It's a great, it's a great pedal. I've got mine around somewhere. I'll show you the difference. Let me go and put this down. Where is it? <clears throat> so there's, there's a GAFC. And there's the, uh, the Estep Cat Edition. So it's much smaller, but you can see it's, it's you know, shape-wise, it's, well, it's pretty based on the same thing. Now, okay, let's have a look at the back of the Cat Airstep. Now you'll see that it hasn't got any expression pedal outs. If I, if I go to the JFC, we've got expression pedal outs. Right, so this is what I was finding out from Airstep. This is the cat edition. So what this does is it controls, it does all the controls that I've just shown you uh, on the on the Boss Katana. Now what you can do, you, you can go and buy the the air step. This is the full edition air step, not the special edition cat edition. If you go and buy the full edition air step, it has two expression pedal inputs on it, uh, and they're going to be they're thinking about developing the software so you can use expression pedals with with uh, the Katana and the CAT software for the Airstep on the bigger version. Uh, sorry, it's the, same, it's the same size, it's just got so much more connectivity on the back. Um, the, the bigger CAT, I've, and I've lent mine out to, to James. James has got it at the moment because James was, was gonna be doing some videos on it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, expression pedal out, it's also got MIDI out. I think it's got two MIDI outs on it. It's, it's, it can do so much. But this is just for the uh, just for the cat. Now, if you want to use expression pedals with with this with this version and the katana, you can do. It. All you've got to do is to plug an expression pedal into the back of the katana. You've got expression in, and then you can control any parameter you want inside the katana by using the expression pedal. Just plugging into the back. Um, right, where are we with with questions? <laughs> Now we're doing for time. Oh, we're doing great. Let me go back to a patch. Um, let me have a look. Uh, Bruce says, uh, Bruce Brooks says, the computer acts as a USB host and so does the air step. And I believe you can't have two hosts. So it, I believe, and you can't have two hosts, right, okay. Uh, did I miss the US price? Yes. So the price of the Airstep at the moment is $99. So if you order that from the um, Exonic website, the $99. Um, the I'm not trying to say anyone should buy should shouldn't buy the JFC. I think the JFC is brilliant. Um, the JFC I think is about $150 at the moment. So um, it's an introductory price I think of $99. Hundred dollars, whatever it is, but I mean, I think that's I think it's an amazing piece of kit for for what it is, and being able to connect to it, and then you know being able to alter your patches from Bluetooth is just well, it's genius. Uh, where are we? Uh, yes, okay, that's right, Ryan, 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 Ryan. Yes, Steve, thank you. Uh, cheaper than the GFC and does more. Yep. Uh, location record. Ah, oh, James is in the house. Evening Rat Pack. Um, Rory Lisbon, is there a central website database of Katana tone patches from lots of various source? Paid and free both. No, there's not. Um, so I do patches. Uh, we do patches, I should say, on our website, which is the studiorats.net. There's lots of different patches on there. If you want to check out what the patches sound like, you can go to our um, YouTube channel. And go through um, if, you, if you look for uh, the Katana playlist, and I'm demo, I, I'll demo I demo all the all the patches. Uh, the other guy that I'd probably recommend, and he does a lot of stuff, is is Yucca Neri, I think his name is. It's J U C A N E R Y, I think. He does lots of different Katana patches, uh, and does a good job. Um, where are we? Where are we? Uh, Bruce says $100 seems to be an introductory price, but I'm sure it will go up. I don't know what they, you know, yeah, I think it says it says it's an introductory price. 
Um, yeah, I think it's probably worth buying. Worth buying now for the introductory price, just in case it goes up to 150. Uh, Aiden says, definitely get the full version. If I needed it, for the most part, the wireless rigs need need to die a quick and public death. So, so there again. Uh, if I needed it, for the most part, oh, you definitely get the full version. If you needed it, for the most part, wireless rigs need to die. Yeah, wireless rigs can be can be a bit of a pain. But the thing about the air step or the S-Step Lite, I should say, they do lots of different versions of it. Uh, the S-Step Lite, you can connect by Bluetooth to your S-Step. So say that your main S-Step is on top of your amp and with all your effects and all that sort of stuff, you could have the a satellite version of it, if you want, called the S-Step Lite. I've got one down there, but it's attached to my pedal board. Uh, that then would remotely control the S-Step uh, via Bluetooth, and I've done a video on that as well. It's great, really clever. Uh, where do you order it from? So, Steve, you can order it from um, the uh, Exonic website. If you type in Exonic and Airstep into your um, or Airstep Cat into your browser, you'll see it there, and you can order them direct. I think some shops are stocking them, but from what I can see. It's cheaper if you buy it from the Exonic website. Um, can you order? Can you talk about the acoustic setting? Acoustic setting. What on the Katana? I guess so. Let's have a look. Uh, let's turn these effects off. Let's turn everything off. What I'm going to do? Let's plug, let's plug the cable back into the S step so I can control it from there. Give you two seconds. Okay. That's the other thing about the air step is is that it's completely it's just plug and play. There's no setting up. You just plug it, USB out. Uh, where are we? Let's click on there. It's USB out of the air step, straight to the katana, and it's and it's instant. Right, let's switch those effects off. Okay, so you want to talk about the um, acoustic? I mean, I don't know. Okay, let's have a look. Acoustic setting. So, what the what the acoustic setting on the katana is? It doesn't make your guitar sound like an acoustic. Just in case anyone's confused about that. Uh, I tell you what. Let's go back to. Uh, let me pair up with that again. If you want to do that sort of thing. If you want to make your electric guitar sound like an acoustic guitar, you can do it with the katana in a sort of, in a, in a sort of you know roundabout way. But the acoustic setting on the katana is like it's meant for acoustic guitars. So it's it's a brighter. Um, it almost sounds like the katana's got a tweeter built into it. But it's almost like a di'd sound. Now, if we go into, uh, let me cut back to, to there. Okay. Uh, if I switch, if I switch on the, if I switch on the effects slot, and let's go to the effects. There we go. Where are we? Are we in effects? Yeah. Okay. Now. If you if you ever look at some of the effects inside uh, the modulation or the effects slot, you'll see this uh, about three quarters of the way down. You see uh, AC processor. Now that's it's an uh, an acoustic guitar simulator, as it were. Let me switch myself on so you can see me as well. There we go. 
Right, you can change, actually you can't see me, you can just do that. Uh, you can change the type. And then it can make your, your guitar, if I turn on the reverb a bit, it can make your guitar sound like, your electric guitar sound like an acoustic guitar. Now, when I say acoustic guitar, it sounds like a piezo pickup, like an acoustic guitar plugged into something. Um, change the size of the guitar if we want to. Hope that helps. Uh, where are we? Uh, Phil Hoy says, are you able to use uh, the amp models and effects from the Bosch GT1000 core and then use an extra effect from the Katana EG reverb? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so if you plug into uh, the Katana, if you plug into the, let me have a quick look at the back. I don't know if I can see it from here. Uh, actually, I'm not sure you can. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, well you could do, if, you, if you've got a Katana 100, you could plug into the return of your effects loop. You could do it that way. Uh, and then you could use the Boss Tone Studio software to, to decide whereabouts you want the your GT1000 to come in and then use the reverb from the Katana. So yeah, yes, you can do that. Um, Andrew says, Boss released the Katana bass amp. They did, I did a video on it. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out, it's on the channel. Um, YouTube community admin says, hello, can you make a creepy, <laughs> YouTube community admin, can you make a creepy organ tone like on neural, of gorgeous BST plugin using whammy octave chorus and delay phase and O oh, and tons of gain. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, should we have a look? So again, just in case you've just joined us, the um, Tone, so Tone Studio software here, which is what you're looking at at the moment, that's connected by Bluetooth to the um, Exonic Air Step. And the Xonic Air Step is plugged USB into the Katana. Okay, so what do you want me to do? You want me to, to, to create, I don't know the patch, uh, but okay, well let's go tons of game first of all. Okay, now what did you want me to do? So it's, I keep losing the uh, my place. Okay, whammy octave chorus. Yeah, I guess I guess we could go. Um, let's have a look. Let's go edit. Uh, let's have chorus going on. So if I switch, if I switch over to here, oops, this one. So we switch our chorus effect on, which is this one. If we go over to the effects slot, so I've gone from here to here. Uh, let's switch that on, which is that one. And let's put a octave effect in. Uh, 
Uh, what was the other thing? And delay. You got some delay as well. So let's go into delay. We'll switch on the delay on the air step. something like that whammy yes you get yeah, there is a whammy effect actually we, we, we could actually put a whammy effect in if I had an expression pedal plugged in into the back of the katana we could actually do that with the whammy and then sort of uh, change the pitch which you can do with the katana um, but unfortunately I can't set that up at the moment um, Mirko Cesare says hi guys hi Mirko David Brose, Yuckaneer is an awesome patch maker too. He has some free free and pay patches, yes. Surf B, hello from Boston. Hi Surf B. Uh, Surf B, the katana really is the katana really that good for live shows? Well look. Is it as good as a boutique amp, a boutique valve amp? Probably not. But the katana is great for for live shows yes um I'd, I'd be quite happy using the katana for a live show um and also i don't really have to worry that much as as i said earlier it's um the no you know nowhere near as expensive as a boutique valve amp but yeah the katana is great um i do you know what i think i'd prefer to use a katana than i would uh, a modeler something like a quad you know quad cortex or a kemper because you've got all the controls on top of the katana and you can you know you can really edit things quickly with the with the um core cortex you have to really deep dive into it and with the with the kemper you really have to deep dive and you have to it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a faff so they, they all sound great but yeah i'd be quite happy using the katana for live where are we uh, Steve Milk says, I probably missed it, but can you load patches you already downloaded to the air step? Uh, so if I have a Yucca or Studio Rats patch saved on my computer, how can I get it on the air step via the iPad? That's interesting. I haven't thought of that. Um, well, what you can do is you would plug your Katana into your computer, as you would normally do to download your patches, and then you can edit them using the the iPad and, and using the airstep um, I don't know if there's a way of I haven't really gone into the the Katana Air app that much to see if you can actually download patches and then sort of transfer them over to the Katana you may be able to that, that might be possible maybe I can have a look at that this week um, Josh McCreevy says everyone says the EQ within Tone Studio uh, is vital for nailing your tones. Any advice on general settings, graphic EQ shape for standard clean dirty tones? Cheers from cheers for all the great content. That's a pleasure, Josh. Um, yeah, so turn that EQ off. Don't even worry about it. Just you can get all the tones you need to do just from the. I want to talk about it's a parametric EQ. You can get all the tones you need from the. The, the basic EQ that are on the that's on the cat, the bass, middle, and treble, and uh, and the EQ that's in say like your overdrive patches, overdrive effects. Um, you won't really need to to touch the parametric EQ, which you can add to it. Now, if you do want to, if if you start to find that you're getting um, sort of frequencies that are annoying, or you want to really boost the bottom end or cut I mean I'd use it for cutting things like if, if there's frequencies that I don't like I would use the parametric EQ for that I wouldn't worry about using it for global tone shaping at all um, you re you'd really need to touch it inside the katana so um, you can do everything you need to do from the top of the katana or from 
by using the air step here and, and using the Katana Air app. Um, where are we? The YouTube community admin keeps retracting his, his, his messages, so... Um, Uh, the dude says, I recently got a Boss Wah pedal to hook into my GAFC for my Katana Mark II 100. I can't get it to work. Ah, okay. Did you buy a Wah pedal or did you buy an expression pedal? Because if you plug a Wah Wah pedal into the GAFC, it won't work. Um, because it's not an expression pedal, it's a, it's a volume pot. It's basically, it's, sorry, it's, it's, a, it's an EQ pot in a, in a Wah Wah pedal. That's not the same as an expression pedal. Um, so yeah, you can need to buy any expression pedal. Um, yeah, hope that helps. Where are we? Uh, Daniel Ross or General Rose says, any news about Scuffum S gear? Yeah, no, uh, no news about it. Um, I've done some videos on Scuffum. It's brilliant. Really great, really great bit of software. Uh, for me, it's the if I'm going to use if I was going to use um, any guitar amp sim software on the computer that's what i would use because it sounds it sounds really good they've done a really good job on that uh youtube community admin i use acoustic settings for amp sims into the amp almost like an effects loop oh nice one yeah that's a good idea cafe guitarist if the air step multi-controller is given a katana friendly firmware update at the at sme point it would be good if they included a trs audio jack that would put the Mac out of a job. Okay. Think it, yeah, but the only thing is, you're talking about the air step having an audio jack on it. I think you'd have to, you'd then have to make the air step a, a USB interface, so an audio interface, which I guess they could do if they really wanted to. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Like a, a controller and a USB interface at once. That'd be good. Um, do you know what? I think I'd get in contact with them. Get in contact with the guys at, at Exonic and see if that's something that they think would would be worth doing or, you know, that they could sell. If it's if it's a niche thing, they probably, you know, won't do it. But, um, you know, they're pretty clever guys over there. Um... Uh, Phil Cartoon says, evening all, evening Phil. Bruce says, uh, the dude, it doesn't work that way. The JFC takes an expression pedal and then you have to program the expression pedal to the wah effect inside the katana. That's exactly what you have to do. So it needs to be an expression pedal, not a wah wah pedal. If you go and, if you bought a wah wah pedal, uh, I think Boss did make a wah at some point. It must be quite an old one. Um, you could plug that into the front of the katana and it would sound great. To be honest, I think I'd prefer a, a proper wah wah pedal than a than an emulation of a wah wah pedal, which is going to be inside the katana. Um, anytime, Josh. Stephen Dudas uh, Dudas says uh, hi from Budapest in Hungary. Hi, Stephen. Searching for some clean quality tones for a Fender Strat. I have tried a few now, but no avail. Nice clean lead tone. You know the type I mean. Thanks. You should find some on on our patches Steve and if you go to the studiorats.net and go to the downloads page you should find some some patches there's loads of uh, clean patches on there uh, if you want to check out how they sound go on to our YouTube channel and go to uh, the Katana playlist and you'll find them all there um, where are we the dude pedal is an AFT30L I don't know what that is I'm afraid um, sorry the dude you might want to check if it's an expression pedal it'll work if it's not an expression pedal if it's a wah wah pedal it won't work uh, Alex Bourne said they make this X-Tone thing it's a mixed interface with MIDI control already ah yes they do don't they yes I haven't tried one FV30L ah yes that is a that's a volume pedal isn't it let me check hold on I've got I've got a few different boss controllers here hold on give me two secs That's an FB30H. Uh, actually, I don't know where it is. Ah, I've got it. I think it's 
think it's in my, it's in my little mini pedal board. Okay, let's have a look. That is an EV30, okay. That is the, Boss make a few different expression pedals, but that is a Boss, that is the EV30. Okay, so that's the expression pedal, it's blue. It's like this sort of uh, airfix blue, if any of you are that old. Um, the volume pedal, if you've got the volume, if it's silver, that's a volume pedal. That will not work as an expression pedal. FV30, actually, let me just have a quick look on the internet. Let me have a quick look and I can, I can help you out there. Hold on, let's have a look. Um, Boss. FV30L. That's a vol it's a volume pedal. That's a low impedance volume pedal. That will not work. Uh, yeah, okay. How can I explain this? Um, a volume pedal, you plug your guitar into the volume pedal, it goes through the volume pedal, and it's basically like the volume pedal, uh, sorry, the volume control on your guitar. It's a pot. Um, you've picked a low impedance one, which is fine. An expression pedal is different. It, that's sending controller information. It's sending uh, almost like, um, yeah, it's, it's sending controller information. It's telling the software of what it's trying to control, the katana or whatever, how far down you're pressing that pedal. So you've chosen a volume pedal, not an expression pedal. You need to take back the volume pedal and go and buy an expression pedal. The EV is what you want, not the FV. Um, Phil Hoy says, thanks for the advice. Do you still think a Katana Mark III will come out any time this year? Wondering whether I buy a Katana Mark II cheaper now or wait for a Mark III. It's a really good question. I, I honestly don't know. I think I would be told if one was coming out. I think I would. But even so, I would I, I signed with, with with Boss. When you when you do the sort of work that we're doing, you sign a, um, a non-disclosure agreement. So I could not tell you if one is coming out, but I can tell you that I don't know of anyone coming out. I would say if you're looking for a, a Katana, and you're you're waiting for you're waiting for the Mark III. You could be waiting you could be waiting years for it. So just go. And, do you know what? Go and buy a second hand Mark II. When the Mark III comes out, you can sell your second hand Mark II. You're not going to lose any money or very little money. And uh, and then you can go and buy the Mark III. But yeah, I don't know of the Mark III coming out. I imagine it's going to be great. If it's if it's anything like some of the features that <clears throat> the the katana bass which i've got down here the 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 two by ten bass amp um which is going to have you know which has got bluetooth on it and it's going to be great so um I, yeah i mean they must be working on it but you know if it's going to come out this year i don't know um where are we okay uh j music 87 let me put my glasses on i'm getting old uh, does anyone have an issue running a looper pedal through the front end of the katana while using pedals? If you have a katana 50 and, prim and primarily use a pedal board, is it worth upgrading to the 100? Yeah, definitely. Because you can, if, you, if you're using a looper, for me, you, you want to you run the looper into the uh, send and return, into your effects loop on the katana. Because all you're going to be doing is just completely overloading the input of the looper. If you, if you just put it in the front end of the amp. So yes, I would upgrade to the 100. If, you, if you're really into loopers, upgrade. I thought it was an AV30L. I read it does volume. Mine's aluminium. Yeah, it sounds like you've got you've got the volume pedal, yeah. Uh, MIDI, Daniel Rose, have you played the Boss GX100? If so, what do you think of it for recording? So one's on its way to me. Uh, boss, has, uh, boss has sent one out. Um, and as soon as it arrives, I'll be doing a couple of videos on it. Uh, MIDI is the word. MIDI is the word you're looking for? MIDI. 
What do you, I don't think I've needed the word MIDI, but when do we need? Why do we need the word MIDI? Okay, Brett Spencer says uh, the Boss FV500 series H or P does have an expression output you can use instead of the in for volume, but not the FV30. Cheers, Brett. Nice one. Um, YouTube community admin, they won't be making a Mark III until someone comes up with competition. Well, they have, because Line 6 have come up with the, um, what's it called, the Catalyst, uh, which I need to get at some point. I might just go and buy one of them and so I can do some videos on it and we can compare it against the Katana. But yeah, they have come up with, with a, um, a competition for it. Alec Bourne, control voltages actually off an expression which are converted to MIDI by the modeler. The EV1 would send actual EV1 would send actual MIDI, okay. Um, YouTube community admin, can I use any kettle power cable from a PC to power it? I lost my power cable for my Mark II 50, so don't want to try it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's called a Euro lead. We call them, I, well, we call them Euro leads here, but yes. Um, Michael Mercado, Paul, does the air version on Tone Studio that, that is used with the air step cat have all the functional functionality of the regular version? Paul, does the air step version of Tone Studio that's used with the air step cat have all the functionality? No, no, it doesn't. It's, it's, I haven't found anything that I don't, that I'm not using, um, to be honest. I haven't found anything that doesn't work on it, but no, it's uh, the air version is a slightly scaled down version, not effects wise. Um, I'm trying to think what the difference is. Let's go back to uh, that one there. Okay, MPQ librarian tuner. okay so um, you can't use the tuner on it oh, that doesn't work um, mpq uh, okay so I can't see anything that you can't do but I'm sure there is Uh, thanks. Let's have a look. Uh, yes. Expression pedal send MIDI data. Uh, yes, but they send it out through a jack. They send it out through a TRS jack. So even though it might be MIDI data, it's sent through a TRS jack. Um, uh, just control voltages, exactly. So it sends out control vo voltages, not MIDI. Great show, God bless you all. Okay, well, cheers, guys. I'm I'm guessing that we're we're sort of we're at the end of at the end of the show. Um, and honestly, I've been really impressed with the with the step cat. Where is it? Uh, that one. I think it's it's a brilliant thing. And also, if you are doing a gig and you want to, you, you know, you want to deep dive into your katana, you can do it now with the step cat. I think it's brilliant brilliant thing so yeah any more questions I'm guessing not right well join us on well t uh, two things a bit of a uh, bit of admin join us on Wednesday nights uh, at 8 p.m. GMT for um, for the live show that we do every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. GMT it's m myself and James that's a bit of fun we, we have a bit of a laugh doing that so if you want to join us you're more than welcome um, and the other thing is, if you want to check out some patches for the Boss Katana, you can do. If you go to our website, you go to the download section on the studiorats.net, go to downloads, and all of the Boss Katana patches are there. Uh, there's a couple more questions just come in, and I'll just answer these quickly. If you want to use the IR200 with the Katana, would you recommend the power amp in over the normal input? Yes, I, I would recommend that. Um, but also turn off your um, speaker modeling on the IR200. What is the range? The range of of what, David? If you mean, um, can it work wireless? Uh, Jeff, no, it cannot work wireless at the moment. No, it's um, because the, the Katana hasn't got Bluetooth on it. So the Katana isn't wireless. There's no way of being able to connect. 
a um, uh, the air step light by Bluetooth to the katana because the, the katana is a Bluetooth. How does the, how does the build quality seem on the air step? Look? Great. I mean, it's 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 solid aluminium. It's great. I mean, it's it's built like a tank. The uh, thing I like about it, I think the same as the yeah, the same as the GAFC foot controller is is their soft switches. They're not like click 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 click. They're just nice. No switches. It's great. Um, as I said, it's got a internal battery. You can charge it up, and it will last you. It's uh, they say it on the website, but it's days. I mean, I I, I can't imagine ever and ever needing to uh, to charge it up. Um, yeah. So I, I'm guessing that's it. All right, guys. Well, you know, thanks for joining me today. As I said, um, join us on Wednesday nights where we do the the live show at 8 p.m. GMT.